The book I decided to do for my independent reading project was Frankly in Love by David Yoon, published in 2019. This book follows Frank Lee, who is a Korean-American 18-year-old high school student whose primary goal seems to live a normal American life. However, his thoughts start to focus on dating Brit Memes, who happens to be a white girl. So, Frank struggles with his parents' harsh and racist expectations that he should only date Korean women. In order to please his parents, but also follow what he wants, Frank decides to create a fake dating scheme with Joy Song, the Korean daughter of his parents' friends. However, his plan quickly falls apart as he finds himself slowly catching feelings for Joy, as well as dealing with the pressures of his family and cultural identity. So before reading this book, I thought it would be a very standard young adult novel in that it would be very cheesy and focused on the romance and friendly aspect to make it kind of lighthearted and just about a high school experience. I also thought it would try to be more comedic than it was because the premise of a fake dating scheme seems like it has some potential for comedy. The main theme I tracked over my course of reading this novel was Frank's sense of cultural identity, which definitely changed because when he's with Brit, you can definitely tell that he's trying to hide it, but when he's with Joy, he's much more open to embracing his Korean side. Uh, a good scene that um, kind of shows this is when Frank and Joy go to a Korean festival, and Frank is having a really good time, so he feels confident enough to order some food for Joy in Korean, but he says one word wrong, and the Korean woman who is selling the food calls him a foreigner, basically, and says that he's not really Korean. And in that moment, Frank feels very embarrassed, and he thinks, I look around, the K-pop pounding out of those speakers? Indecipherable. All this signage? Gibberish. The people? They look like me, but I know it's all some kind of elaborate visual trick. He also thinks, I fooled myself into believing I belonged. So basically, I think the scene really shows that Frank wants to be involved in the culture, but he feels very held back by his inability to speak Korean and other things like that. So that was definitely the main thing I learned from tracking this cultural identity theme, um, just that Frank seems to be very open to connecting with his culture, but he has a lot of deterrents that are pulling him away from it. And I do think that this is something much more subtle because you kind of have to pick up on a lot of different events to realize that. So for example, towards the beginning of the book, um, Brit Means walks into Frank's dad's store and Frank's dad kind of stumbles to speak English to her correctly and introduce himself. And in that moment, Frank thinks, I wish dad could speak English, right? And then in another instance, when Frank goes to dinner to a Korean restaurant with Brit Means and her parents, um, Brit Means' parents are thinking, oh, since Frank are, is Korean, he can just order for us because we don't know any of this stuff. And then he thinks, because I'm still expected to be the Korean expert, whether I know anything or not. In other words, I'm still expected to be Korean first, then plain old gem generic American second. So I think these scenes definitely show that Frank is really struggling with figuring out, you know, in some places he's too Korean and then in other times he's too American. So I think he has a lot of problems trying to figure out what kind of um, balance he likes between those two. My secondary source is from Social Justice Books. It's just a review of the novel. And in finding a source, I was looking for something that would further discuss the cultural and historical significance of this novel. Because when someone reads it for the first time, I think it would be easy to classify it as a regular young adult romance novel. I chose this source because since it was a straight review, it could really dive into the um, nuances of the various topics to, uh, discussed in the book. So some of those key ideas were um, how it discussed Frank feeling so uncomfortable around his parents' racist remarks. And I really liked how the source pointed out how that could be helpful for many people reading the book who are going through similar things. It also touched on white liberalism and classism. And I really liked how the source fleshed out that each character in the book really serves to uh, demonstrate a kind of ism, I guess, like Brit means represented white liberalism and even Joy and her parents rep represented classism and it showed that there are struggles within the Korean community as well. So thank you for listening. I would definitely recommend this book as a kind of chill read because it wasn't very deep. It definitely was a little bit super superficial and cheesy, but I think it's excusable because they were trying to cover a lot of topics. It's just that I wish they could have gone more deeply into those topics instead of trying to cover a lot very superficially. Still, it was a very interesting read and it was an entertaining one.